All right, so the package just came in the mail, and I've been waiting for this for not too long. This is the package. The only problem I have with this packaging is the fact that this company does display themselves so nice online and in stores and all that, but when you buy it online and it comes in a package like this, it's not as nice. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I figured it'd be a lot nicer. There we go. Like I said, they display themselves so nice. Look at this bag. But I thought it was gonna come in a box. But whatever, this is fine. And the two cards, letter of authenticity and all that. Now let's see the chain. And yes, I did get a thin rogue chain compared to the one I have on right now. Which I'm gonna return this one because this is just super long. It's not me. It looks really ghetto in my opinion. This one keeps a little bit more classy and it looks more wearable. This one is a lot shorter than this one. This one's 28 inches. This one's 22 inches, which is a lot shorter. Looks more classy. And it's not as big. Like, this one's just so... It just yells at you when you have it on. And I don't really like that too much. And that's what that looks like without the other one on. And it looks a lot better. Hell yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go return this one now. So your boy got another package. And I already know what it is. But hopefully I'm right. Let's open it. We're gonna need this though. Bro. Yes, it's 58 millimeter wide angle attachment lens from Vivitar. And supposedly it's supposed to give me a really nice wide shot. Let's see how good this thing really is. Don't you guys hate the tape that they put on these things? It like makes it it's so hard to take off first of all, unless you cut it, but I'm a, I don't know why, but I don't like to cut it. I like to lift it up and then leave it there for some reason. I don't know. That's just me though. Put this little bag, Vivitar, and then this really cheap like leather thing. But let's see how the lens is. That's pretty dope. But now, put it to the real test, we're going to see how much of a difference it really is. So this is what a wide angle lens looks like. And this is what the attachment lens looks like. And this is a lens without this thing. It makes a little difference, I and mean, you can see a little more, but my only problem is that it's not as wide as a lens. So this is just me without this attachment, but if I put the attachment on, it gets just a little bit wider, which isn't too bad. I don't, I'm not hating on it. But I'm not a big fan of it either. I actually, what I do like is how focused I am and then the background is really blurry, I love that. And I know that's not the purpose of wide angle lens because wide angle lens, their purpose is to have everything in focus and have a wider angle. But since I'm not really using this for landscaping, I'm using it more for vlogging, I actually like that a lot. Which this lens does not give me. All right, so I decided I'm just gonna keep this attachment because First of all, it does save me a lot of money, and second of all, this lens isn't exactly what I want, like the one I have right here. The one I want is an ultrasonic one, and it's a 10 to 22, and this one's only a 10 to 18, which, I mean, it's not bad. I like I like how wide it is and stuff, but the only problem is, why am I gonna keep this when I don't even want it as much as I want the other one? I mean, I know this thing's a little heavy. It's actually giving me a workout right now, but whatever, I'll live with this for now until I can save up the money for that other lens. Therefore, that means that today, we gotta go to Best Buy and return that. So Mama invited me to get some lunch at Chipotle and you know your boy does not deny free food. So I might as well just go to Best Buy after I go to eat with her because I was gonna go way later after I record for our sneakers and all that. Because I had to cut hair too. Hello, cool. Hello you too. After I ate and now I'm with her. All right, so I got home and I put up the video for our sneakers today and I actually got people saying that they don't like the black corners. So I was like, damn, what am I gonna do? If they don't like them, I'm trying to get you guys to have content that you guys do like. So I was like, all right, you know what? Let me see if I can get a Best Buy credit card. So I went online and applied for one. And fortunately enough, I did get approved for a credit card. So now I'm actually gonna go back to Best Buy and go pick up the lens again and then I'm also gonna order a mic for this and hopefully maybe a tripod and then after that I'll have everything I need for this
Yo, these guys gotta find me annoying. I'm here so much. And I've been to this case like, I said a good 20 times, just looking back and forth on it. I wanted this one originally, but look at the price point first of all, and second of all, it doesn't have image stabilization and that's a problem. And we're back in action with this lens. It is darker because the aperture is smaller, which means less light, but I won't be shooting too much at night, so that doesn't really matter. Your boy had to cop some bread because, you know, gotta eat those sandwiches every day. Ham and cheese.